Axbridge in Somerset, with its mix of medieval Georgian and Victorian buildings, beloved by visitors and tourists alike, who have come to see its ancient parish church, its old houses, streets full of history, and the square with the parish church in the corner. But there's a problem, the steps. If you're in a wheelchair pushing a pram or unsteady on your feet, then it's up St Mary Street, turn left into Church Lane and approach the church from that direction. But there's still a flight of steps to negotiate. And what's it all about? What, what is this access for all? Well, it is, it is as it says. It is not purely um, a way in for our own worshippers. What we're looking for is uh, a whole lot of uh, extra people coming in, visitors to the town in particular. We're looking to make it easier for mothers with their buggies, for people with wheelchairs, of course, for undertakers who at present have to negotiate the seven steps behind me, which is pretty difficult. And uh, the whole thing started with uh, the diocesan board saying, one of the things you should do is create an, an access for all. It's a statutory requirement, mm -hmm. but we saw it as a little bit more than that. We saw it as a statement of our intent. It's an access for all. Everyone should come in through the main door rather than having, as we have at present, some folk being directed to a side door and a temporary ramp and an entrance through a very uh, undignified uh, side entrance. That side entrance involves a complicated ramp, which is not easy to put up. It's very inconvenient for a passing tourist and takes a lot of muscle. To replace it, the plan is for a smooth pathway to be constructed to the east of the south door from the existing path. It will allow visitors to enter the church just like anybody else to see its glorious interior, as Stephanie Gall now explains. Um, this is interesting because in the 17th century the plaster ceiling work had sort of reached its pinnacle but it was generally in people's houses so this was you would see this on a flat ceiling in somebody's dining room or great hall here the craftsman has adapted the idea to a curved barrel ceiling within the church and we happen to know that a local craftsman was paid for doing this work um, which was completed in 1636 according to the date that's up on the ceiling um, and it really is, it's one of those places where you can just sit and look at this for a very long time. Interestingly, the heads that you see acting as corbels on either side of the ceiling are in fact very much older. They may come from the earlier church and they're stone heads representing um, possibly kings or bishops because some of them have crowns and some of them have mitres. To go, it's a place for anyone, um, whatever their creed, colour, country, you know, to come and, and find a place of sanctuary, a quiet spot to be. And inside St John the Baptist Church there's a wealth of social history, of monuments, architecture and sculpture. But how to get in? Paul Patty explains the plans. OK, well you'll notice that on either side of the south porch there are these elegant handrails. The set on this side, to the west, will remain very much as they are, slightly lifted, because the stone steps, which are to be reused, will all be lifted slightly by about four or five centimetres. The set here, to the east of the portrait, will come away entirely, but then run down the centre of the steps, down to the footpath. It is likely that one part of those railings will be seen from the square. That set will look almost up exactly as they do now as you look up towards the south porch from the square. The top step here will have to be relayed. It has to be raised and enlarged so that there is a turning circle sufficient for wheelchairs and for buggies at this point. That will All allow people to roll up um, a buggy or a wheelchair and get into the church. That means going through the, the engraved glass doors and we're hoping to get one of those buttons that you press which means that the doors will open automatically for you 
and you don't have to worry about closing behind behind. And with a bit of luck, that will get people into the church and mean that they can see all the glorious things inside it, um, all on their own and without having to ask for help of anybody. The campaign group of volunteers behind making the church accessible to all needs your support as they raise the money required from various trusts, residents and the general public. So everyone can visit the 13th century place of worship and a venue for a variety of community events. Thank you.